Hello world! Now in the last video, we got two ships to rendezvous. The next step is docking. First things first, switch to your target craft and right click on the docking port. Open it up if need be and click control from here. After that, point anti-normal and turn on the SAS. Since it's pointing perpendicular to the orbital plane, it will not turn around as it moves throughout its orbit. Once you're done, switch back to the docking craft and reset the target craft as your target in the map view. At this point, you want to follow the same procedure I outlined in the previous video, recursively killing relative velocity and moving towards the pink marker on the nav ball. Except at this point, I would use RCS in place of the main engine. Once you get within 50 or so meters of the target, once again zero out the relative velocity. Now click on the docking port in your ship, open it up, and say control from here. Then double click on the target's docking port and say set as target. This makes it so you don't misjudge the distance and angles between the two ports. I would also suggest switching your camera view to chase and set the camera to look from behind your ship. This makes it easier to know which way the RCS thrusters will push you. Oh, that reminds me, turn on your RCS. Now, point your craft normal. This way you know the two docking ports will be facing one another. Here comes the hard part. You have to maneuver the two ships so that the docking ports are facing one another directly. You will have to use the RCS translation controls. I can't give much advice here, but I would suggest only going one direction at a time. As in, for example, translating forward, stopping, and then translating sideways, and then stopping. This makes it simpler to use the translations to kill relative velocity. You will know you're facing the docking port when the pink marker is also pointing normal, along with the direction your port is facing. When that happens, kill any relative velocity and translate forward to dock. Don't go too fast or you'll simply crash. Keep your approach under 1 meter per second. When you get close enough, the magnetism will kick in, and the two ships will start to rub noses for a bit, and then dock. Congratulations! This is one of the harder things to do in Kerbal Space Program, and it will take practice, but it opens up so many doors for your creativity. You can build space stations or even brand new interplanetary ships entirely in orbit. I hope this guide helped, and I will see you out there.